Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to continue to explore the whole topic or aspect of taking a sabbatical but we're going to go back to square one and really ask the primary question or the first question that most people will ask which is why should I take or consider taking a sabbatical? We're going to look at three thoughts or reasons why you should and also consider my usual one last thing. So let's get into things. So the first consideration we should make when considering is a sabbatical right for me or not is the whole aspect of our call. Now I'm a firm believer that each of us has a call on our lives, a contribution to make. We're uniquely designed and gifted to fulfill that contribution and life is about finding out what that is. But as we embark on day-to-day -day life we can get distracted, we can get tired, things will knock us off course and so sometimes we need to take time out from life to be able to refocus and reconnect with our why. Why are we doing things? What is our primary motivation? And a sabbatical provides an ideal opportunity to be able to, to do this and explore it. Sometimes it's really not possible in the hectic day-to-day -day life. We might be able to go grab a day here or there, but if you really feel disconnected with why you're doing things and have no sort of, if you like, guiding star, then taking a sabbatical gives an ideal opportunity to be able to explore that and uh, really dig deep and get that sort of navigation guiding star point back. So if you're feeling a bit disconnected with your call and don't know your why, then a sabbatical could be uh, a good step for you. To benefit yourself from more of this content, and to help me reach others in the YouTube community, it'd be great if you could subscribe, share and like this video. Thank you so much. So the second reason or consideration regarding taking a sabbatical is all around the aspect of care or recovering. Now this is probably the primary reason that a sabbatical comes on the agenda for people is that they're approaching burnout, their tank is empty and they need time to recover. Um, it's not always the best reason for a sabbatical. Um, in his book, I didn't see it coming, Kerry Newhoff says that actually we should be in a rhythm of life where we don't need to take sabbaticals, um, which is true. I suppose that's the overriding end goal. But at the same time, if we're already reaching burnout stage or where we need time to recover, then a sabbatical does provide the ideal um, time to be able to do that. It doesn't mean it's a long-term fix so you should always just burn out and then have a sabbatical, that's not the answer. But it gives time to be able to create a sustainable uh, way of living that will mean that a sabbatical doesn't, isn't required for this reason in the future. So this is one of the primary reasons which I took a sabbatical for um, in order to get my chronic fatigue um, under control and be able to live a sustainable, um, well-paced life. So I just needed a big chunk of time to be able to uh, out to be able to do that and to really dig deep and find the right rhythm for me. So there you have it. There's the second consideration, which is the whole aspect of care and recovering. So the third aspect to consider is all around the subject of work, or how I like to term it creativity, our creativity. Now the artist Picasso says that we're all born artists, but the difficulty or the thing throughout life is to keep hold of being an artist, because there's so many things that can distract us from, from being that. I think there is a, a tendency, if you like, to just get worn out from trying to create content, to work all the time, to come up with new ideas, to solve problems, all those kind of things. So we sometimes need to take a sabbatical to reignite our creativity in order to put the right inputs in um, to give the right outputs, if you like. So this is probably the primary reason why people go traveling on a sabbatical, to just get a different environment, get different perspectives, really um, get more input, more creative input that then they can give out. So we're only as good as what we kind of, I suppose, consume and give out. We need plenty of inputs and stimuli if you like to then be able to inspire and, and create so that's probably the third reason um, to consider taking a sabbatical the whole aspect of being creative and reigniting that creativity so to sum up if you've lost your focus or if you're not connected to your why your purpose for doing things if you're becoming cynical if you're feeling really tired and close to burnout 
if your creativity is waning and you just can't produce any more, then maybe it's a time to consider taking a sabbatical and reigniting that creativity, recovering and refocusing on what you're called to. So on to my one last thing. And today it's all about the aspect of being intentional when taking a sabbatical. A sabbatical isn't gonna just land at your feet. Someone's not gonna come up to you and say, hey, you need to take this. Or well, it's very unlikely that that will happen. Um, each of us is responsible for our own care and our own development. We're responsible for ourselves. Therefore, you have to be really intentional about taking a sabbatical. If any of the signs that I mentioned are starting to creep up on you, then of course, discuss it with people and get soundings from people. But ultimately, you're gonna to have to make it happen. You're gonna to have to be intentional and say, right, actually, no, I need to stop life and need to take some time out in order to uh, come back refreshed for the, for the next season. So that's my one last thing for you guys today is to be intentional about taking a sabbatical if you're experiencing some of the considerations and uh, symptoms that I've expressed today. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please subscribe, share and like this video and check out the other videos that are going to come up all about sabbaticals and different aspects of them. Um, so that's it for today. Be fruitful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.